Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing really good. Uh, I've just uh, been kind of busy all day organizing a lot of my, my paint stuff and, you know, just cleaning out the cupboards and organizing my paintings, going through some of the paintings that I don't think anybody's going to want, so putting them in a pile to go to like the VA hospital or something to donate to them. They raffle them off over there, make a little money for some something, whatever they're doing. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing all day long. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to say one real quick thing before we open these and I'm so excited to do it, but uh, I have just needed to just get like some priorities straight, you know, and some people are thinking I'm not going to be around at all. And no, 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 that's not, not, I, I it should have just been super clear that this month my son had to start school. So he's 13 years old. So we had, he grew over the summer. He just has, you know, grown. <laughs> okay. Like sprout, sprouted right up. So none of his clothes fit him. We had to get him school clothes. And then he got accepted on the football team, the eighth grade football team. So he started eighth grade this year, he's 13. So all that stuff at one time came in and I had to choose that stuff before my supplies. So long story short, yeah, this month I'm gonna be going like once a week, but what I want to do anyway is cut it down for next the following months you know all the time I want to cut it down to at least three videos a week I decided um, just because then there I will be again in another predicament you know of needing supplies maybe and stuff and and kind of sort of like a vicious circle when you get paid from YouTube and then you turn around and you buy supplies with it so it's like, um, yeah, that way I'll be just saving money that way, you know, and then I'm not collecting so many paintings. So if that makes sense, I hope it does. I hope you guys understand. So that's my plans three, three week. But I want to thank everybody who, uh, you know, came in and said how much they enjoy watching my videos every day and all that. It's just like, I'm like, oh my gosh. So. I don't need no help, guys. I'm just trying to do what, you know, not stock up those paintings anymore and kind of get a little bit load off my back, you know. About these here are funny because this kit that they gave me, I don't understand it. I know it's hard to see, but these were the little earrings, okay? They give you four different ones okay one two three four so what do I have to do wait till one's dry and then make another one we've got two years here <laughs> okay but isn't that weird and I even went on Amazon to look and it said four earring pieces so I don't understand that at all so I gotta wait for this to dry then pull this one out and make another one just to get a set. <laughs> anyway, then I did this one. There's this little, this was a dolphin. And then this was a, um, some glass glitter. And then this was some more roses in this type one. I did that today just to have fun. And this one I think is going to be cool. Those diamond ones. Like that. There, I don't want to tip it too long. I put some glass cutter in this one and this one some alcohol ink and it looks from the side view that it may be um it's looking really cool like you know cave stuff dripping down Let's see if you can see it a little bit in there well we'll see that another time so yesterday i was very confused about this one because I didn't know how to get the bubbles out look at all those bubbles I'm gonna run into 
I mean, how do you blow that one with the heat gun? I didn't know. Well, I just wasn't thinking hard enough. So today, before I made this one, and look at that one. Pretty clear. So I'm thinking, well, how do I do it? Because you got to torch it or put the heat gun on it. So I took one of my silicone uh, coasters and I poured the resin in there, heated up, put the heat gun on it, and it turned clear. Then I used my pipette, you know, and squirted it in that thing. So that's how you do it, guys. If you end up ordering these, because you want them clear, you know, as much as possible. A few bubbles are okay. But, uh, yeah, put them in your silicone molds or something. Silicone, because it's best that way. So these are perfect. So I heated it till it was really clear. All right. <laughs> so let's start with this one. Oh, then another thing I was confused about is I was looking at these. I'm like, because these are tiny. And I'm thinking, well, what, what are they for? They're not for pendants. Because those little screw-in things, you know, won't fit in there. So I'm thinking that this is a whole bunch of earrings also. But if you notice on this one, they have two of each shape. Here's two of this one, two of that one. So, yeah, these are good for earrings. But why they only gave you four of those, I have no idea. This one I did pop out already. And it turned out really cool. But it didn't really show alcohol. I put too much alcohol ink in it. So, oh, I just touched that cube over there and put resin on it. So that's pretty much it on that. So that'll be an earring. I'll make another one. The reason I'm wearing the gloves is because I don't want it. they. They're supposed to be 24 hours, and it's not 11 o'clock at night yet. So another earring. This was the blue glitter one. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay. Huh. Let's check out this one. This one would put the little hooks in. If you just I'll get the hooks to show you what they look. That one's got a little alcohol spot right there. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's okay. Pretty cool. So you put a little hook right here and you can wear it as a necklace if you want. I probably won't do that with this one though. I would do a smaller one with some shells in it, but it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's got that little spot that's that white drips down, which is cool in a lot of times, but just one there looks funny. <laughs> so that was neat. But now this is my first time, guys, doing these little tiny things. So I also realized I need to have the light my other little lamp right over it so I can see real clear and see if they're level because I'm kind of worried about these these little things there this one is a good example see it's sticking up that's the way you want it you know Something like that this one's kind of covered just a little and so is this one so I may have to poke a little hole in there resin on it from my glove. I gotta change my gloves. That's neat. That was just the magenta, I think. Here, and I got a little piece of resin on it. Or I could probably clean that off with some alcohol. I'll change my gloves. Sticks that one there. 
Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. I like it. Yeah, I'll get better. My first time. I like it. So then I can just put a little hook in there. Have to get some hooks too for those. This one I'll clean with alcohol. This one, I think I put too much alcohol in. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if it's got a hole here. <laughs> Yay! It did work barely. I love this one. That one's cool. It's just so much better in person than in a camera with light. Hitting it so hard. So that is neat. Inside there. Cool, cool, cool. This one's got a hole in it. Oh, I like that one. Oh, love it. Oh, man, that one's cool. Look at that. It's kind of see through, too. There we go. That's what I need to do. That's cool. I love that one. Another real rosebud. Let's hope we got a hole. And hope there's not a lot of bubbles. Ooh! See, that one's nice and clear. That's cool. Oh, it's still some bubbles. But see, I wasn't under the light. I should have known better. But now I know. It's just my first time. And it worked. It's a real rose petal in there. That's going to be pretty. I like that one. <laughs> Let's check this baby out. Let's see. I think I, because I barely. Oh, good. That was kind of all to, it went through. Ooh, this one's almost flawless. So, but these, like I said, you put them in one of these coasters first. Put your heat gun on it. Get it nice and clear. Then you can pour them in here. But it still worked because I did torch it quite a bit. That's cool. I'm going to say that's cool a hundred times now. <laughs> this is fun. Well, I'm curious how I'm going to get this one. And I think I put too much blue in here. So you live you live and learn through these babies. This is my first time. So you never know. Oh yeah. I turned out a nice blue. And then I'll just kind of sand that down a little. I didn't does look pretty cool through that in there. But too much alcohol ink, so I know better on that now. But it's pretty. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see this one. If it is see-through. No. It's not. Should I see this one? There's some resin on there. Whatever. I wanted to see this one too. Without my hand underneath. Because it's a big difference when your hand's underneath. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> it does. 
<laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna get this one again. I love this one. That is cool. So, I know what I did on these. I know what not to do. Alright, now how am I supposed to get this one out? And it's gonna be full of bubbles. You can just see the bubbles. Uh, they did mention you might have to use water. Up. Roll it down, maybe. How do I get that out? Roll it, yeah. <laughs> you just have to keep rolling it. Is cool. A lot of bubbles though, but now I know. Look, that was a twisted one in the inside. Hey, that one I love. Look at it's like a twist. One. Ah, oh, I'm gonna make another one of them. This time, put the resin in the coaster. Get the bubbles out, but I still like it. That's really cool. I'm going to put the little hook in there. Okay. So that's it. Oh, another bracelet. Let me get those hooks. That way you guys know what I'm talking about. Because some of you might not have been. Thank you, Air. So it all depends upon what chain you're going to have. Silver or gold. No. Then... And you just screw it in there. You know? It works. And you can put your chain through it. That's neat. I didn't know that was twisted in there. That turned out really cool. But now I know how to get the bubbles out. So. Dropped one over here. <laughs> I'm taking forever just to show these. So I can't get them out. Bracelet. Oh, realized this too last night. It's not going to fit my hand. I have big hands. And this is going to have bubbles too. Because I didn't get, you can't get the bubbles out when they're in the, so you got to put it in without bubbles. At least you guys are learning from my mistakes, so that's good. Hey, that's pretty neat, though. That's cool. Look how it's got those little grooves in there. That's neat. That's cool. It only, like, you know, this glitter sinks because it's heavy. It's glass glitter. So I won't use that no more in there, but it's still neat. But you can't see it here. Only on the tip. <laughs> That's got bubbles too. But I know how, we know how to do that now, don't we guys? So yeah, this will have to go to my granddaughter or somebody. I'm gonna get this small hand because uh uh that, that's not gonna fit. Alright, that's it. So I'll show you the rest of these next time I do a video, which will be sometime, you know, this this week. Okay? So thanks, guys, for watching. Hope everybody's doing awesome. And uh, stay positive, like I always say. Got to do that. That's important. Mindset. Always positive. So take it easy. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.